a beautiful sunrise over Delamere Forest. Welcome to Run Adventurer, sharing great places to walk and run. I'm off for my run, why don't you come with me? I'll show you the way. Stage one complete, this is Old Pale. From here you've got panoramic views across the Cheshire Plain and beyond to Merseyside, Derbyshire, Lancashire, Shropshire, Staffordshire and North Wales. All places I will be exploring with Run Adventure. Time to take in the view and watch the sun come up. While I do, here's some useful information on parking. So you could park here, this is where I parked at the Yeld on the Yeld Lane Kelson. Or park here on uh, Stony Lane. There's a footpath just behind me that goes, uh, follows the course of the um, old Roman road, takes you into Nettleford Wood. Or here near Barnbridge uh, car park on the switchback road. You can park on the side of the road. There are proper places to park just around that next corner there. We'll park here at Gresty's Waste. Follow the path behind me across the road through into Nettle for course. We'll park here at Primrose Wood. Follow the path down the hill behind me, then turn left on the sandstone trail mark path which will bring you to the Gresty's Waste car, car Park and then on to Nettle Footwood. If you enjoy our videos and you'd like to help out, follow the link in the description to our Patreon page to discover how you can join the adventure.
point this out. This is the start of the Gruffalo Trail, uh, which is perfect for young kids. We're close here to the main car park and visitor centre, so if you've got young kids, go to the main car park, it's easier, and uh, head off down here. Trust me, they'll help. As you can see at the time of filming there's uh, building work going on, they're just knocking down the old Vista Centre and putting up a new one. Um, great place to come with the family, there is a restaurant, toilets, ice cream, everything you want. If you're planning a trip in the near future, fear not, there are still car park, there's toilets and of course ice cream vans. Chester to Manchester rail line runs straight through the forest uh, which makes it quite accessible. We're right close to Delamere station so you can get off the train right near the visitor centre. Take a moment to stop and look back up at Old Pale, where you've just come from. Who's that hiding in the trees over there? Don't forget to stop and say hello to the Gruffalo. We're now skirting the edge of Blake Mere, a large shallow mere. Um, when I was a kid it was all woods, but it was returned to this condition in the 1990s. I believe the um, it was drained at the beginning of the 1800s to try and grow oak for the navy, but it uh, wasn't very successful. Um, anyway, the birds seem to love it. Uh, it's lots. It can be, if you get here early in the morning, there can be a lot of squawking.
we're now going to turn away from Blakemere. Uh, if you want a shorter route, continue following round Blakemere to the right and um, past Go Ape and it will return you to the visitor centre. We're heading out now towards the switchback road and crossing over to the other side of the forest. Keep an eye out for sandstone trail markers. They're really well marked. The path uh, goes through the forest from the Manly side at Kingswood through to Edisbury at Kelsall side. So if you're not sure where you are and you find the path uh, and you travel westward, you're going to go in the right direction. As you can see, we're now crossing back over the road on the sandstone trail. And we're now going to follow the sandstone trail up to Edisbury. Just going to point out um, some routes here that are useful to our right here. The, the path brings you to the bottom of the, the road to the Yeld where we parked. 
Uh, it's a steep hill, but it's handy if you've got uh, whinging children. You can take them to the corner of the road just down there and then march up the steep hill to get the car for them. If you go straight on, it takes you back to the visitor centre, but we're heading up Eddersbury Hill. To our right on the hill, uh, it's the site of a late Bronze Age fort. Uh, it was here until the Romans knocked it down. Uh, there are several hill forts. There's another one further over, and I believe there were watchtowers on Old Pale for pretty much everybody who's ever lived here, because it's such a high spot. going to point out this crossroads because it's where you might go wrong. To our right is where we came from this morning from uh, Yeld Lane and that's where we're heading next. But straight on is the road to um, Presty's Waste, Primrose Wood, Stony Lane and if you're coming from that direction remember that you need to turn right here to get up Old Pale. This is the route for Old Pale up here. Obviously for the Yeld it's the simplest because you go straight on so you can't go wrong. And there you have it, the final hill back to the car park at the Yeld. I hope you've enjoyed the uh, video and I hope it inspires you to go and visit.